Mithras was a deity in Persian mythology who was revered as a god of light, order and justice. He was also regarded as a sun god, as he was associated with the sun and its light. In Persian mythology, Mitra was the son of Ahura Mazda, the supreme god of order and creation. He was also the twin brother of Araman, the god of chaos and disorder. Mithras was often depicted as a warrior in shining armor, and was revered as a defender of justice and truth. The cult of Mithras spread throughout Europe and Asia during the Roman Empire, especially among Roman soldiers. Mithraism became one of the most popular religions in the Roman Empire during the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD, and its worship also spread to other parts of the world, such as Africa and India. However, Mithraism lost its popularity with the rise of Christianity in the 4th century AD, and eventually disappeared with the spread of Christianity as the official religion of the Roman Empire. Today, Mithras is often remembered as a deity in ancient Persian mythology. Both Mithraism and Christianity hold the idea that life does not end with physical death, but that there is life after death in another world or another state of existence. Baptism is an initiation rite present in several religions, including Christianity and Mithraism. It is seen as a way to join the community of believers and as a sign of God's grace. In Christianity, Baptism is usually administered by immersion or pouring of water on the candidate's head. The word baptism comes from the Greek baptizo, which means to immerse. In Christian baptism, water is used as a symbol of purification and new life in Christ. Baptism also featured in Mithraism, although there were some significant differences in its practice from Christian baptism. In Mithraism, Baptism was called ablution and consisted of immersing the candidates in a tub of water. It was seen as a way to purify candidates and prepare them for initiation into the mysteries of Mitra. Mass is an important liturgical rite for Christians, which celebrates the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Mass is also known as the Eucharist, which means thanksgiving, as during the Mass, Christians thank God for the gift of salvation through Jesus. The Christian Mass includes reading and interpretation of the Bible, prayer, singing of hymns and the ritual of the Eucharist, in which the bread and wine are consecrated and distributed to the faithful as a symbol of the body and blood of Jesus. In Mithraism, there was also a rite resembling the Christian Mass, which was known as Agape. The Agape was a meal in honor of Mithras, at which Mithras followers shared a meal and prayed together. During the Agape, Bread and wine were also distributed to the faithful as a symbol of Mitra's presence. The followers of Mithras are believed to have believed that the bread and wine consecrated during the Agape had the power to purify the body and spirit and to prepare the faithful for initiation into the mysteries of Mithras. The winter solstice, which falls on December 21st or 22, was celebrated as a festival of light and the return of the sun in some ancient cultures. It marks the shortest day of the year and the point where the growth of light begins after the darkest time of the year. In some cultures, the winter solstice has been celebrated as a festival of light and the return of the sun, as it marks the point at which the sun begins to shine most intensely. Sol Invictus was a Roman festival celebrating the sun god, Sol Invictus, and which fell on December 25th. It was established to celebrate the sun's victory over darkness during the winter solstice and to honor the Roman god of the sun. During the Sol Invictus festival, the Romans offered sacrifices to the sun god and celebrated with banquets and festivities. Following the adoption of Christianity as the official religion of the Roman Empire, some traditions related to Sol Invictus were incorporated into the celebration of Christian Christmas, which falls on December 25th. Thanks for watching.